Friends, neighbors, and my fellow abaters, sadly, all good things come to an end, and a tax abatement is no exception to the rule. But just like everything else in life, preparation is the key to success. So I want to show you today when your property taxes will be due, how much they'll be, and what you can do now to start saving for them so when the day comes that the payment is due, it's not such a burden. So I'm going to share my screen here, and you can follow along. First thing you'll do to find this information is go to the assessor site. So iowaassessors.com, you're gonna hit Dallas County, go to property search, and then you're gonna type in your address under search by location. Okay, so it's gonna pull up the homepage of your property report here. Now you're gonna scroll down to the notes section and you'll see abatement and abatement will expire on 1-1 of 2023. So that's the day that the abatement ends and you begin accruing property taxes. Now we pay property taxes 18 months behind. So the first property tax payment will actually be due in September of 2024. Now you're going to want to verify this information with the county treasurer. They're the ones who send out the tax bills and collect the tax payment. Um, I called the other day and just verified ours is expiring on this date and our first payment will be due in September of 2024. So right now we have two years to start implementing our own savings plan if we'd like. That way it's not such a burden when the day comes. Now, I wanna show you up here where you can find how much it will be due. So you'll go to this tax estimator tab, spoiler alert, it's not gonna be fun. So right now it's estimated at 67.37 a year, and this is based on a property value of approximately 350,000. Now you may be a few years out in the assessment Will most likely go up by the time it's time to start paying your property taxes. So you can play with this value a little bit on here, which is what I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to estimate that our home will be valued at 400,000. So I'm going to change the land to 75,000 and the dwelling to 325. And now I can hit compute and that's going to give me a value in estimated taxes based on that value. So roughly 77.39. Side note here quick, make sure that you apply for the homestead credit. It'll save you $177 a year. Also, if you have a military exemption, make sure you apply for that too. Okay, so now that I know when my taxes are due, roughly how much are gonna be due, I can implement a savings plan now if I'd like. So what I did here is basically created our own graduated tax savings plan. So right now we have two years until that first payment is due. So if we start saving right now $400 a month for the next 24 months, we'll have a, a savings account of 9,600. Make that first payment in September of 2024 of 4,000. I did this based on a yearly of 8,000, which is 667 a month. So if I start saving 400 a month, it's a little easier to start making that payment. Payment will be made, leave a balance of 5,600. So on this example, now that I've started paying the taxes, I'm gonna to start to bump this up a little. So 500 a month for six months until that next payment is due. So now we have a balance of 30, or excuse me, 8,600. Payment due in March of 2025, 4,000. Balance of 4,600. 500 for six months. And then I did it for another year. Balance got down to 1,200. So now I bumped it up to 600 a month for the next 18 months. And you'll see in March of 2028, the last payment of 4,000 leaves me a balance of $0. And now it's time to start making the full payment of 667. But by doing this, I extended that tax abatement, basically made it a graduated tax abatement for the next five years. So based on the value of your home and how much time you have left on your abatement. You can play with this number a little bit. Maybe you have four years left and you want to start at $200 a month for the first year. 
then 300, then 400. But no matter what you do, I highly recommend start saving now because you don't want to be the person who gets that bill in the mail for $4,000 and it's due that month. So if you have any questions on this or want help setting something like this up for yourself, please call me, text me. I'm happy to help. Also, if you have a neighbor that's not real familiar with the YouTube here, please share this information with them so they're prepared for this as well. Thanks for watching. If I can help, please reach out and I'll talk to you soon.